Hi there, and welcome to the virtual Glen Anaquat Memorial TP Racing Competition. My name is Nick Crichton, and I'm a graduate of the University of Regina, and we're excited today to teach you how to put up a TP. It's important to note for putting up a TP, rolling what you do, there's lots of ways to put up a TP. This is one way that we are, we are, Roland was taught to put up a teepee, but you start off with three tripod poles. And then you get your fourth pole, you bring it in, and that'll be your canvas pole. It's important to make sure that that canvas is firmly secured to the top of that canvas pole. It's important to also remember that this canvas pole will now be the last pole that goes up, but it's used to measure the three tripod poles. It's also important to note that when you're putting up a teepee like this, that you never step over top the teepee poles. They should be respected and treated as your, your, our grandfathers and our grandmothers. So you would never step over top of them. You would never disrespect the teepee poles that way. And those are the teachings that were passed down to us. And so we try to respect and honor those teachings when we're putting up our teepees. And it's important when he's tying, you can see he goes one pole at a time. This is the important part of the process. It is about speed, but he wants to make sure that the, the three tripod poles, those are your foundation, so they're gonna be nice and sturdy because they have to withstand the uh, weight of the other poles. What we're doing next is we're adding each pole and you go in a clockwise way and you start on the door pole where it's created here. And then you add and you want it to go on the left side. And Roland, he's running around. I'll spread out each leg. Huh? <laughs> pole, each pole, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting corrected. That rope ensures that it's secure. And you want it right at the top. So as you can see, we put up the, the frame of the poles, we put up all of them and you, if you look above and you see up top there, what we're creating is a nest on the top. That nest is going to be where we're going to land our, our canvas pole. Right where Roland's standing right now, he's standing in the door, making a doorway, he's left of the door there. And we're making space for that canvas pole in the back. It's also important when we're carrying the canvas that we don't drag it. We want to take care of it. We have to work together. We have teamwork. We don't want our canvas to fly away. We created a nook. And that's where you want that canvas to land, is that in that little nook at the top of the nest. So he's 
threading it. You have to overlap the canvas on one side to the next. There's four holes, two on each side of the canvas. You line them up, overlap them, you push one pin through the front, and you line them up through the back. Now, as you can see, we placed the uh, pegs by each loop, and now we're just putting them down on an angle. And when we're hammered on the ground, it's important that they go on an angle, just because on windy days, you don't want the loop to fly up. Clocks are up, pegs are up, the poles are up, canvas is on. 